guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time I'm talking about the Bumblebee movie. Yes, there's some new information regarding the Bumblebee movie, and that is that it's going to be a prequel film, so it's going to take place before Transformers 1, and it seems like, based on the latest Transformers of the Last Night promotion that shared images of Transformers at World War 1, it seems like it's going to take place in that era. Um, I also wanted to mention that, spoiler alert, that Anthony Hopkins' character has actually met Bumblebee in the past when he was a little boy. So that might have some tie-in to the Bumblebee prequel. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But uh, there's some interesting stuff that I wanted to talk about. First up, with the Transformers Last Night promotion, we got to see a design for Starscream during that. So, it's possible that during this movie, we are going to see more Starscream in the movie. It's possible that Starscream was on Earth during World War I, so that would be something pretty interesting, something pretty cool to see. Um, and it seems like we might get Hound as a character in this movie. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, not sure about Drift and Crosshairs and whatnot, but I feel like Starscream would be one of the main characters. We could also get a new leading Decepticon, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, there was the CGI design for a character that we don't really know exactly, so it'd be pretty cool to see if he's anything really. Or if they just use that design to promote Transformers The Last Night. I feel like that's going to be in the Bumblebee prequel, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about that, and I think it's going to be interesting to see exactly what goes on. And I hope it's taking place during World War I. And we're going to see Bumblebee in that tank form. I think that looks pretty cool. Not sure if we're going to see Ironhide, though. I don't know but we'll have to wait and see. It's just that Ironhide really screws everything up because he came to Earth during Transformers 1. I don't know if that's going to be explained during this movie, but uh, one thing that's good is it's going to be directed by the same guy behind Kubo and Two Strings, which again, I've not seen that movie, but I've heard some pretty good reviews about that. So I'm actually very invested in this movie. I'm kind of curious to see exactly how it goes because finally we're getting a movie that's not directed by Michael Bay. He could still be behind the movie, but just not direct it. And, well, obviously he's not directing it, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, with that said, I think you guys watching. Are you guys excited for the Bumblebee movie? Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudettes, and I'll see you guys next time.